Today we're celebrating the 20th anniversary of the Center for Spiritual Formation in Millerstown, Pennsylvania, and I am going to be speaking with a member of the board about how this center all got started. Thank you for speaking with us, Marjorie. How did you get started with um, the formation of this center? Russell Hart came to me 20 years ago and said that uh, Bishop May was very interested in starting such a retreat center for the conference. And so he was, Russell was working on a board of directors and he asked me if I would chair the board. So I agreed to do that, although I wasn't really sure what that meant at the time. But I agreed to do that, and uh, we began back then in 20 years ago in 94. Okay, so how did you choose this location for the center? This land was donated to us by Gary Miller. And Gary, um, there used to be orchards up here, and it, in fact it used to be, and that's why we call it Orchard Hill. Most of the orchards you won't see any sign of anymore. When we first came up here, it was all growth, um, weeds, trees, and we had to do a lot of clearing, but uh, now it's what you see. So uh, there's a building here that has um, rooms for people to stay, and there's also a labyrinth. Um, there's some hiking trails. What was your vision for this place whenever it all first started? This was a vision for a place for people to come for retreats, um, not only retreats that the center would set up and workshops, but also individual churches. And they are still encouraged to come up here, um, use the place for a weekend or whatever amount of time they want to. Um, we saw this as a place of retreat, keeping it fairly rustic. We have tried to open some of the trails. We have a... Um, down at the pond down below, there's a, an old uh, pond house there that we restored. We sort of tore it down and rebuilt it. Um, and one of the hiking trails goes down to that spot. Um, so we saw this as a place where we would keep it as natural as we could, um, but yet make it accessible too. It's definitely a beautiful place. Um, can you share a little bit about the labyrinth that's on the other side of this building and um, how that tends to really refresh people's souls? The labyrinth was developed by a couple of our board members and Russell Hart, who's our director. It was a lot of work. When they showed me what they were doing, they had to lay it all out with ropes somehow. Um, and if you've seen it, it's, it's a beautiful, it's not a maze. I'm supposed to never say that it's a maze because it's not. But it's a beautiful layout. And people pray slowly as they walk through it to the center. And then you weave your way back out. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful place. And now it's lit at night by solar lights. And so it, it's just really beautiful. I was talking to a woman who stayed overnight here last night, and she said it was just amazing to look up at the stars and see all that God had created. She saw deer and wildlife, and um, it's just a nice retreat, as you mentioned. Is there anything else that you would like to share? People do sometimes come up for a retreat by themselves, and they certainly, again, they are certainly welcome to do that and use the facilities, yes. Well, thank you for sharing. If you would like to see other webcasts uh, such as this one and learn more about the opportunities that are available within the conference, you can check out my Facebook page at Susquehanna Express. <laughs>